What's up, everyone? <laughs> Happy Halloween season. Spooky season, as I like to call it. This camera one, camera two, camera one, camera two. Are they both on? <laughs> yeah. Um, it's just me today, baby. Are you guys stoked? As stoked as I am. Um, hi. I am Amandiar. I am a artist. I am a writer and I am a producer. What is up, everyone? And I am your scream stream queen today on Splices Diamonds stream. Uh, we also... I help run the Diamonds channel on the Splices Discord, which is a channel that emerged for non-male music creatives uh, and all of our allies out there. It is a new culture for the non-male creator and the non-male creator allies to talk about music and music production, lyric writing, and basically smashing all gates. So come and join us in the Discord server. If you scroll down, you'll see the Diamonds channel. Um, and I'm there all the time answering your awesome questions and also giving you an awesome, what I would like to think is one awesome history, history, human history of uh, electronic music. So check us out. It's called, that sh that little sub channel is called the Real Tea, um, but today we are talking about spooky music, Halloween, how to make your music spooky, and I'm j before we get started. I don't know if some of you know this, but I'm obsessed with spooky everything, horror movies, spooky culture, Halloween. Obsessed with it. I don't dress up. Sorry, this is the best I can do. This is Leatherface on a Friday the 13th t-shirt, which I think is tight because those are conflicting horror brands in one t-shirt. I think it's funny. I love it. It's super me. But I'm also part of the ghoul gang. Um, but I celebrate everything about Halloween and I love watching people dress up. I'm just lazy. So that's that. But anyways. Okay. So, um... I am also part of and a co-founder of a super group of hit makers, songwriters, and producers called Lovecraft, L-V-C-R-F-T. And we are a, collect, a, a collective of super slashers in our fifth album called V that's out right now. And we just got together because we would go to all the haunts together, all the horror movies together. And we wanted to make new spooky music, new Halloween music for the haunting season as we were tired of only dancing to Freaks Come Out Tonight by Houdini or Ghostbusters or Thriller. Um, and we love those songs, but we just wanted new spooky bops. So um, we are Lovecraft LV. CRFT, come and check us out. Our project is really focused on the spooky sync business for TV and film, and that's what we're going to be talking about today on this stream, is how to make your music spooky and sync friendly, baby. So um, buckle up and get your freak flag on, because I'm going to show you some gate smashing, gate slashing, let's just call it that. Uh, terrifying tricks do you love it i'm full of puns because i'm fully in the season right now um i'll tell you i just want to give a disclaimer that if you know who hp lovecraft was he really inspired some of our greatest horror he he was an author and he is really inspiration of probably like 80 percent of horror <laughs> like he he was a really spooky dude but before we took on the name Lovecraft with no vowels, L-V-C-R-F-T, we had no idea what a hateful piece of shit H.P. Lovecraft was. He was an anti-Semite and a hateful racist. So I just want to give a disclaimer that Lovecraft, the musical group, is a group of what has a huge diversity of Latinx artists, POC artists, queer artists, and everything in between allies and Jewish artists, everyone. So we are a 
group highly represented with lots of non-male creatives as in the production roles, in the songwriting roles, in the artist roles. So we decided we're taking back that name. And so I just want you all to know that as a lot of people are like, hey, why would you use the name of like the most hateful piece of shit ever? And it's like, we didn't know. And he is was such an inspiration for a lot of horror, but his personal life was pretty grody. So freaky factoid. Moving on. Um, yo yeah okay i'm just looking at the chat right now mustard cat what is up dude i love everybody if you can right now please 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 go to the diamonds discord and go to the showcase channel be and this is on splice's discord sorry the diamonds channel go in the showcase channel and hear mustard cat's awesome spooky bop i think we should play it today to be really honest it was amazing um What's up, little Drew? Um, I just want you to know I am 100% here to answer all of your questions, spooky music or not, but I'm going to be making some. Oh, thank you, Splice. Join the Discord. Listen to Mustard Cat's awesome spooky record that he just put out. OK, yeah. Thanks for coming on the stream. Um, OK, anyways, let's begin. So. I love everything horror. I don't know if all of you have noticed that when you go to horror movies now or you're watching sci-fi channels, 31 Nights of Halloween on Freeform, Huluween, whatever you want to call it. They all have special names now. Um, it's a lot of covers of recognizable songs that have been made spooky and creepy. And I... I'm super proud to say this is I'm fully spooky shilling myself right now, but it was like a major career high for me that a I covered Kim Wilde's Kids in America. Does everyone know that song? Give me a in the chat if you know this Kids in America. We're the kids in America. Or do I need to play it on the thing? OK, everyone knows that. I did a spooky version of it <laughs> for Lovecraft. This is Halloween volume one for our first al album. And what is super cool is this year. Do we have any Chucky fans out there? Chucky, Chucky, Chucky. OK, so there's an episodic show. If you don't know, if you're not in the know about this, about Chucky, you know, Chucky the doll. Episodic show that is on Sci-Fi and USA Network and also streaming on Peacock. And they're in season three and they, the Chucky people, used our, the Lovecraft version of Kids in America uh, as the season three trailer of Chucky. And, um... I'm super stoked to play it for you. But since I think like not everyone knows it particularly, and I don't know if we can get away with streaming this, but I'm just going to do it. So like whatever. Um, Give me a second. If you're living. Oh, my God. Hold on. Look at it. I'm just muting this. I'm going to show you. OK, first of all. Going to the chat really quick. TKNR, of course, Bonnie McKee wrote on the newest project. She wrote like three or four songs. She wrote Bad Witches. She wrote Burnin. She wrote. No, I think it's just those two. I got to look again. I got to look again. But yeah, Lovecraft B. Go check it out. Bonnie McKee. Of course. Of course. And she's singing on Burnin and it's a total bop. OK, but back to Kids in America. So I'm going to go to screen one, Jim, your cue. Cool. OK. And just to refresh the pop version of the song. Boom. And I'm going to turn it up. Jim said to turn it up. Cool. So it's already kind of creepy. They 
hear me? Is the mic open? Oh my god, I fucking love this song! Okay, the chorus, I'm just waiting because the chorus... I know, it's super 80s, but it's such a fucked up song. Okay. I fucking love that song because it's like a super 80s, like, we're the kids in America and we're all fucked up. Like, the lyrics are all like, they're already like m macabre and weird. Like, we're the kids in America and everything's terrible. It's the 80s. It's Reaganomics. It's awful. Right? And I was always like, this would make a great spooky, a spooky version of the song would be great because the lyrics are already like super subversive. You think like, oh, kids in America, woo! Like super 80s, like dipshit 80s lyrics, but it's not. It's super subversive. And this was obviously an English group. And so we did make a spooky version of it. And I am going to quit playing that one. And I'm going to show you the Chucky trailer. And I'm going to talk about how to trailer spookify your music and how to do that with covers because it's super trendy right now. And there's a lot of um, opportunities in TV film sync world and even like a television commercial advert world. So give me one second because it's going to be fierce. <sighs> and I just want you to know, like, I literally screamed out loud when we got this because that's how much I can just I love spooky talk. stuff. Can Hold you? on. This is an ad. Don't watch it. We're adding. OK. Okay, so now on to the Chucky season three bumper. This is running right now. Sci-fi network. We're just I'm just really stoked because I love horror. <laughs> Chucky's so campy. I just can't believe it's like a real thing. Um, okay, anyways, but on to playing the Lovecraft spooky version with me singing it. You bitches miss me? I know moving to a new house can be a little scary, but you'll get used to it. Well, at least there's one good thing. What's that? I mean, has taken to this terrifying that we find perhaps a bit odd, but it seems to be there. Little kids. <laughs> And check your phone. You bitches miss me? <laughs> okay, Chucky, you wanna play? Let's play. Hey, hey, hold on, hold on. The Wi Fi is surprisingly crappy here. Oh my god, Jennifer Tilly's in this. This is like a queer fantasy show for me. Chucky took her. Like, why did they have shit like this when I was a kid? You don't have to do this. Don't do it, Caroline girl. Knife drop. Have you seen the news? Is that Chucky in the White House? We're responsible uh, for Chucky. We're going to DC. He knows where my sister is. <laughs> we're gonna kill Chucky. Guys. I'm sorry. Oh my god, Chucky! Okay, <laughs> no White House. okay so this is gonna be our bloodiest Halloween yet. Very interesting. What? <laughs> what are you guys talking about? Yo, no. What the f so good. Okay. Oops, we don't miss as much as I want to watch that again. Um, okay, y'all. So it, it, it Kishore Kumar, it is great comedy. Like, it's, I mean, it's campy. It's a doll who kills itself, and it's in the White House. Like, the best was when the sync request came through, is that they, uh, when you get, when you make music and, like, TV film, so sync is, is um, just to to clarify that term for the for all of you, um, 
when we use the word sync in terms of music, it's that they're using music that an artist made, um, that has already been made. It's like artist music or a cover in film, in like in a movie or in television or in an advert to, to uplift the ad music for or to make the picture better and be part of the storyline. So that's sync music. And that's different than music library. Music library music is like background music that you hear in adverts and, and is composed um, and generally is bought out in terms of, of who owns that, that music. But for sync music, that music is essentially licensed um, for TV and film. And for this case, it's it, um, our version of Kids in America, the Lovecraft version, has been licensed for Chucky season three. And when they come in with a sync request, oftentimes they tell you what the storyline is to see if you're okay with your intellectual property being used used for this. And when they said Chucky goes to the White House, I was like, oh yeah, baby. I was like, season three Chucky is going to be amazing. But, um, oh my gosh, TKNR, I didn't know that you knew about my hell to be babysitting. Okay, I will talk about that. Just I'm reading comments as well. Sorry, ADHD. But okay, so discussing how to do a cover, make it spooky, and then make it like trailer it. There's actually a style of music where that's trailer music. And there's um, that is a skill set in its own to learn how to make great trailer music and for this sync and when we approached doing the cover of kim wilde's kids in america to make it scary and to fit our lovecraft brand we were like first of all let's slow it down a lot because slowing anything down that was originally like a like a bop like a up uh, like a bop immediately makes it scary it's and also kids in america like the top line is very like major chord focused. I would say it's like three, four chords, super simple, you know, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> yes. Okay, sorry, I'm looking at the chat. Uh, so the, um, so every time like I approach a cover and to make it scary, slow it down, Just slow it down, slow it down, slow it down. And then I look at the harmonic foundation, which all of that information is online. You can look up what are the chords of kids in America. And then I throw it into a mode or into a, the minor key of the original key for like the chord structure. And minor always sounds scary over major chords, slow it down, minor. And then some of the best tropes in horror are creepy kid square la-las, like la, 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 la. Always like one, two, Freddy's gonna get you, always works. And anything that's like childlike sounds that have been reappropriated, like a kid's toy piano, a glockenspiel, Things that like make you think of childhood and recontextualizing that, super spooky move. Like that's like spooky 101 to make your, your music scary. Um, and we decided to make this version super cinematic, meaning that we, we were hoping that it would be used in this format, which it was. So when we, to me, when you make music really c cinematic, it's really layered and dramatic. There's lots of big swoops. There's lots of big swells. The drums are humongous. Don't be scared to use like a kettle drum in there. And, and also like chants and choir pads are really great. And for me, they're great samples on Spice of like choir, and you can just drop that into your into your sampler instru instrument and begin, you know, using that as your pads, etc. Um, if you have VSTs that you bought, Omnisphere is one of my favorite for huge cinematic like pads that are really complex, and you don't need to like go ahead and build them; they're already built for you. So awesome. Yeah, I mean. Okay, I'm going to be hitting, after I'm done with this, I'm going to be hitting the chat and answering some questions. So, um, 
Also, what I like to do and how I like to approach it is like pop music oftentimes has like lead motifs that aren't always the vocal melody line or some that are maybe like a key keyboard lead or that are like a post melodic in the top line that you keep hearing over and over in the song. So like the strongest hooks in the song, isolate them, maybe two to three of them. And then again, use those childhood instruments to recontextualize them into a spooky space. Okay, so like for kids in America, it's la, 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 la. That's the hook from the original song. But if you do that in a creepy slow down law or with a glockenspiel, which is what we used, it really takes it into a cinematic, creepy, spooky, WTF, freaked out zone. And that's how we approach this. We also didn't change lyrics, but we eliminated lyrics that we didn't think supported our version of Spooky Kids in America. Um, so that are some of these super creepy gatekeeping tips to doing a spooky cover that can hopefully be used in sync music. And another thing that I think is really important to think about when, when you're doing sync music is because we get, I get that question a lot because I do a lot of licensing. Um, I think one of the reasons Kids in America worked so well for this Chucky season three is that Kids in America, the original, is a very upbeat song. Even if you read the lyrics and they're darker than you think, upon first listen, you think it's very happy. So like creating this dichotomy of recontextualizing Kids in America as spooky is always a great way to approach sync where the lyrics aren't divisive. Like, I think most music supervisors that are placing music in TV and film are looking for lyrics that are general and not specific, no swear words, and nothing like super divisive because it needs to work with picture but not take over the picture. So it's, a, it's an art form for sure. Um, I'm going to answer some questions in the chat. Okay. One too many movies. I love you. Thank you for coming. Mia Farrow's Rosemary's Baby theme is literally terrifying. That is 70s spooky, like, uh, spooky, gothy folk music at its best. Um, yes. Okay. Kishore Kumar. I hope I am pronouncing your name correctly, uh, has an amazing question. Do you need permission clearance from the original artist to use a cover like this for sync? The answer to that is no. This actually blew my mind in general. Okay. And I'll explain to you why. So anyone can cover a song and put it out. I can cover satisfaction by the rolling stones and put it out and i don't have to ask for their permission to do so but any of the because i don't have any publishing on that song because it is a cover then my cover of that song any sort of royalties it makes on the publishing side and i believe the mechanical side too goes directly to the original writers of the song so that's why you can do that. And I actually, um, and in terms of sync, like let's say we covered this song and we wanted, we, the, you know, Chucky, well, we did cover it. Let's say this scenario happened. Lovecraft's um, Kids in America is up for sync in Chucky season three, but Kim, let's say Kim Wilde and the band and everyone who wrote it, it's like, I hate Chucky season i hate chucky and there's no way they can use a song for that purpose then they can say no to the licensing of that song without because essentially i don't own that song i don't own the copyright i've just done a cover of it does that answer your question okay 
Okay, I hope that does. Just throw more questions in the chat. But it is a really good question, and I was surprised about that because when, like, 12 years ago when I released my debut album, Feed Me Diamonds, um, the title track, Feed Me Diamonds, was covered by a German artist who essentially released it as their artist record without any permission from me. It was a very weird situation on uh, Spinner, which was, is an electronic dance uh, label. And I didn't realize, like, you have no control over that. Um, he hired a singer and they covered my song and released it as their song and made a music video and really released it as if it was their song with no credit to me. Now, that is all like legal and you can cover it. It's just like in super poor taste to not give credit where credit is due. So that was super lame of them. But on another way to look at it, it was cool to write a song that people loved enough that they wanted to steal from me. <laughs> um, so weird scenario, learning lesson, got to drink some water. Um, yes, so we also, as Lovecraft, have done some other awesome covers, such as As Long As You Love Me by back wait by what's that boy group Insane. yeah by them <laughs> <laughs> so i'll just like uh give you a version of that so you can hear it you're and in for a treat again again another example of taking like a super cheesy pop song recontextualizing it super sp like a huge pop song boy band early aughts and recontextualizing it and making it scary. And this has also been up, but hasn't been, hasn't gotten any licensing, but it's been in the running for some big uh, sync opportunities. Um, and so check this out. So you see here how we're moving the, the chords to minor. So the lead line has been minorified. Oh, I'm screaming because I'm sorry. Abla! <laughs> what the fuck? So you hear the big pads, and now we've used um, orchestral chimes for the lead line and made a new range rant. A lot of low-pass filtering on drums, sneaky tricks to get to the chorus. Slowed it way down. Every little thing and now we go real minimal. Feels like a steep within me. Lots of weird delays. Sorry, I lose those for a while. But do you see how, like, doing this and recontextualizing these lyrics makes it so fucking scary? I don't care who you are, where you're from. Like, really good for, like, a slasher, obsessive, weird... As long as and long as you love me. And then Oz in the minor. As you love me. As long and again, as you love very cinematic. You can see this locked to picture. Sometimes when we make these records, we'll actually put up a horror film to see the beats of, of, of different trailers for horror films. 
big drums. Okay, you get it. I'll quit screaming if I'm screaming. Sorry, y'all. Um, yeah, total stalker zone. Um, we have some awesome questions in the chat, so let me take a look. Okay, that's how I said it. Thank you, Franco Vega. That's how I said at least they're using it from the back. Uh, that's very sweet. Thank you. Um, any recommendations on spooky drum packs? Yes, I'm going to make a spooky track for you all before we end this stream so you can see what I'm using and how I approach it. I use Ableton when I make beats, so hope that's helpful. Um, what's the best way to present an original to a label? Like an original record? Um, honestly, I think like uploading it into the DSPs, I know me sound like really basic, but using um a system like distrokid it uh that will will um upload your music into all the dsps and m making tiktoks to them every day it's gonna like gain tra hopefully gain some traction hopefully your song will will get out there a lot of promo and then labels will start taking notice of that that seems to be right now the way to getting labels to see what you're doing is through TikTok. Whether that's good or bad is not the mountain I'm gonna die on, but it seems totally intense. Okay, so Mustard Cat, wait, wait, didn't you recently in a previous episode that one of your songs was recently recorded by a big artist? Can you talk about that yet? I cannot, but I will. And hearts for, look at heart, yeah, hearts. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for remembering that, by the way. But as soon as I can, I will. And I'm very excited about it. Because um, it's a song I produced and co-wrote. That's, so that's cool. Um, Mustard Cat. The minor chords really do change the field. They really do. It's like a very easy trick. Like you could do it with Britney Spears Toxic. I mean, it's, it is a trick, but it doesn't mean it isn't fucking awesome. So whatever. Tricks of the trade. That's a gate smashing like factoid. Fucking tricks, if they're awesome, fucking rip. RIP. Okay. How do you find the best third party presets for any particular VST of choice? Want great leads, mixed and mastered drums, and strong 808 bass sounds? Thank you from DL. Okay. Third party presets. You know what, if you go to the Diamonds, I know this is like, I'm not trying to shill the channel, but I do try to populate like a lot of the Diamonds channel in the Hang channel on Splice's Discord with great free VST plugins. I know when I was, you know, starting out as a, as a producer and music creative, like I couldn't afford VSTs or plugins essentially. And, and um, even like, 10, 15 years into doing it and trying to cross that threshold where I can make a living as a musician. Um, and now there's such a vast amount of great free VST and plugins, keyboards, anything you want. So um, I have a great list of ones that you can find in databases that are not malware. They're just free uh, versions of companies who are trying to sell their other products. So, um, and if you go there, you will see a list of them and where to find them. Um, also, if you're, honestly, if you're a Splice user, I can show you, I'll show an example of making an instrument by dropping a sample into your simpler, uh, into a sampler instrument. Um, and also like any VST you're using should come with like um, stock packs of, great basic synthesizers and instruments you can use. Um, and as far as strong 808 bass sounds, again, if you're if you're on Splice, like, the, all, I mean, it's amazing. I can give you some examples. Uh, I mean, they have a great sample library, especially of 808s, like distorted 808s, like big 808s, little 808s, like full kits, this guy's kit, that guy's kit. It, it's really vast. And um, if you don't have that, don't tell Splice this, but you can go to Reddit. <laughs> Don't tell Splice. Don't tell Randy Splice. Because if he finds out, he's going to get pissed. 
No, I'm joking. But Splice is, Splice is the best because all those samples are going to be compressed and limited and they, they're ready to play. And other areas are, you're going to have to do some compressing and limiting and making them big. And I definitely have tutorials in the Diamonds channel to show you how to make your gems slap. Okay. Um, this is great. Okay. Stalker Lament. Okay. Um, let's make a spooky track. What do you guys think? Give me this. No one. It's so weird when I don't have a guest here because it's like, I'm like, <laughs> should we do it? Who am I talking to? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. You're going to see me. I just want you to know, I don't think you've seen me make tracks yet. And a lot of it reminds me going swearing and being like, come on, like that. And then going and then talking to myself. So get ready for the magic. <sighs> Look at how stressed out I sound. I'm all. <sighs> so let's go to 70 BPM because I want to start there. Uh, wait a second. I like Pro Tools. Basic Pro I want to do. Yeah, drop some beats. OK. Lil, Lil Stunna has a great op option for you. Um, oh, but. Again, in the Diamonds channel on Splice's Discord, I just dropped a free DAW that has just come onto the market. It's free. It's not malware. It's free. It's not stealing anyone's IP. It's a free, awesome DAW. And that's called a DA, AK. Um, and check it out. I've used it. It's cool. OK, bye. OK, back to making beats. Hot. Okay, I like to go here. I seriously, this is not me shilling Splice. Like, seriously, they've told me this is just what I do. Okay. I want a creepy glockenspiel bell thing. Bell loop. Like, got, like, creepy. No, creepy. Oh, oh, music box. Creepy. What do I get? Yeah, let's see. Oh my god, it's like it fucking knew. It's like it fucking knew. Okay. Uh, yeah, I want to keep it there because I want... Uh, just live with me. This is me making a beat live. <laughs> and honestly, like, if you like to make trap beats... I'm just not going to lie to you. This shit... This shit is really fun to make it spooky. That's just facts on the ground. Look at it, now I'm going to get mad. Fucking drop into my DAW, go. I also don't call this a DAW, but I'm gonna call it a DAW for you. Oh my God, Amanda, do not. See how I warped it? I'm just gonna warp it. I'm gonna lock her down. I'm gonna lock it down. Two minutes. What's that? I don't know what that is. Oh yeah, I have two minutes. I gotta hurry up. Okay, yeah. No. Yes. Yes! Okay, let me just lock this down. Oh my god. Oh my god, I gotta make a trap beat. Oh my god. Don't worry, we'll get it, we'll get it, we'll get it, we'll get it, we'll get it! We're gonna move quick. Okay, so I'm gonna do trap beat 147. Check this out. Literally do this. Trap beat, trap beat, loop. This is just for the fun. Oh, well, I do like that. Okay. Yeah, you, here. And boom, and boom, and cha 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 cha, and a boom, and boom. I don't 
like this one. Here, let's do this one. No. Yes, girl, that's our girl. This one. Check it out, check it out. Put it, we're gonna put these. <laughs> Should we take this down a little bit because it's upset? I'm just gonna put this on all the kicks. Boom, boom, boom. Uh. Boom, a, a, a. Boom, boom, a. Um, let's do this. Not like that, but we do like this. knows what she's doing okay we got that oh oh let's do this check me out and then I like to make this into regions because I'm that bitch I'm that bitch yes and then let's do a little keep compression on this Mmm, and let's key off that kick a little bit. Tuck it in. Got tuck. I give it the tuck. Oh. I don't like any of that. Welcome to Amanda. Welcome to Amanda's production style. Yes. Let's do this. Yeah, yeah, we're just gonna do this one. And then this is a different key, so it's gonna be very annoying. I gotta go like this. I gotta go like this. Do you see that? Boom. Ooh, ah, uh, ooh, ah, uh, wah, uh, wah. Uh. Yes. Let's see. Let's bring this back here. Yeah, I need. And then let's bring you right here. Boom. Boom. Bah. Tuck it in again a little bit. Let's just give it a little bit of something. And then we want to fuck this up and put an LFO tool on it because everything should sound decayed and creepy. So let's make a little bit of a vibe. my mouth. a freak in the I'm a freakazoid for um form oh my god this is so boring watching someone produce or do you guys love it do you love it yeah you love it 
Okay. Let's do it like this. Except not you. Boom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Bum 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 bum. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Boom. And then I like to make loops and work in chunks. Nothing is complete on a spooky vibe than a knife slash sound, knife sound effect. Effecty. Yeah, I mean, one in Rome. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. As my transition sound, definitely using. And what if we made this like a moment where like there is nothing here? Like if we did this is always so cute. And then I like to use this. We'll see if we have it. I don't know if they do. Do you have my super massive? No, why don't you? Bahala, do you have that? Yeah, you do. Wait, you do. I just spelled it wrong. No. Well, let's try this. This would be cute. Oh, yeah, girl. Oh, 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 oh. That was not it. Wait, 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 wait. Because this is not where I need it to be. It's so my transition sound to make something creepy. Damn it. And we can bring some of those rolls back a little bit. This is definitely not my finest work, but it's something. Shows you how fast you can go if you like know what you want to do, you know? Maybe, maybe. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, nah, nah. You feel? Do you feel me? Everybody in this room, are you feeling this? Yeah. And then you can go like this. Uh. Wait. What? What? I think I wanna kill you. I think I want you for my bed. I'm gonna tell you. When I want you on my plate for a dinner. I think I want up in your brains. I'm a killer, killer. What? Hi, that was a spooky track beat. But then you could go like this really quick. Here's, I'm sorry that the intro sucks so bad, but I did. But dig this vibe. Then you can always go like, I just feel like I should do this. Wait, does everyone know these fun, that? <laughs> Cause this, let's just make this dope. Is everyone cool with that if I do that? Okay, fuck this window. Who has worked with me in the studio knows that I just swear constantly. I'm just like, fuck this. Fuck that. No, mend it. And then I had someone recently tell me I use, I mouse too much. Whatever. Is that it? No, Jim does not. Yeah, I was like, what does that mean? They're like, you should be using key commands for. And I was like, well, I 
I don't know. I don't. I I agree with you. Because look at what's happening now. This isn't cool. But you just do the best you can. <laughs> look at... Oh, we made it. Yeah, that was major. God, that was major. Ugh. Edit. I also hate this mouse. Look, okay, you just said it. Wait, check this out. <laughs> this, will be, this will be crazy sounding. Wait. Hey, hey. What does this sound like? <laughs> I don't know. This intro. This is the this is the shit now. Bruh. Right? That like was kind of tight. I feel like we're in a zone now. Booyah, booyah. So I, okay, and then I'm going to stop because now I'm in the zone. And then I always love to do, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Who loves EQ3 on uh, Ableton? Amanda does. Because it's a DJ, it models the DJ uh, EQ. No, she didn't. Yep, she did. Okay, okay, now we done, we done, we done, we done. What? Oh, let's put it back here. Okay, so listening. Ah, uh, cause I'm a killer. And you don't know it, I'm a, I'm a serial killer, bitch. I don't know, I can't rap right now. I want your brains on my plate like a rubber. I wanna Harley Quinn you up to the cabin and then something better happen. What? Cause don't forget your loop, bitch. Don't forget that loop, bitch. Uh, the loop is bad. Sorry. Well, you get it. Ta-da. <laughs> and that's how you do it. Okay, bye, y'all. That's a Love you. We'll see you next time. Keep it spooky. Ha happy hauntings. Check out Lovecraft. Bye-bye.